So select this, make sure you select the roof and you change that to 200, that's the thickness of your uh, sidewalk. Now we're going to add the profile, the curb arc profile here at the corner or edge of your sidewalk. To do that, you need to go and create a new family. So we're now going to go to the family editor. A Revit family has an RFA extension. So when you're creating a Revit family, you start with a template. So you go to family templates and select English instead of the English I, that's for Imperial. So go to English, you get your metric and look for metric profile. A metric profile is a simple reference or template with two uh, reference lines or planes. So you can see the thumbnail here of those reference planes. So select metric profile, click open. You know you're in a family editor, the ribbon is different. Okay, here you can create uh, the profile. So create, use the line tool, LI is the shortcut. Okay, we'll start here. That's the insertion point, the intersection of these two reference planes. Start there, go down by 200. Go to the side by, let's say, 150. Okay. For now, we'll just go up. Click here and there to close. Okay. So just create a rectangle 200 by 150 <laughs> using the line tool. And then from here, using the fillet arc tool, I can click on the two lines and drag it to, let's say, a radius of 100. Okay. Click first. Click there and type 100 to change the radius. Enter. So this will serve as a profile. This technique is very important. Take note of what we did here. You can use that for your uh, fascia, for your whatever object that you need a profile for. This is how you do it. Okay. So create a new family. Once you're in the family editor, use the line tool to create these lines. And then once you have the lines, go to modify place lines and select fillet arc. Select the two lines, drag it down to create the radius and then click that radius and the temporary dimension to change the radius.